up everybody i believe today is the 10th let me see yep may 10th 2024 and we are going on another hike it's going to be me and my, my buddy ray the hike is right around this corner here it's about a one mile hike and uh yeah so you're going to want to be on big bear boulevard right here and then turn left on stanfield cutoff and i'll show you once we get closer what you want to do but it's right at the end of stanfield cutoff over all right, so as I said, we're here on Stanfield Cutoff now, about to pass the lake and the wildlife preserve on the right-hand side. Here's our beautiful lake over here. Probably not going to get much of a good view from inside the vehicle, but that's okay. And the wildlife preserve on this side. Totally spaced on the name of this hike. That's how my brain's been working or not working lately. But yeah, it's right up here. I wanted to take you guys right to where you're going to want to park. And we're getting a little bit of drizzle right now too. So we can kill two birds with one stone. Get a little weather involved and uh, a hike. It's, it smells like I'm in Italy right now. I do not know why. I've been lucky enough to go to Italy a few times. Okay. So now we're on Highway 38, AKA the North Shore. We're gonna park like right where this white car is and this black car is right here. Typically you would wanna turn right into this parking lot coming up here to park, but we're not gonna do that. Cause you need the parking pass and I do not own a parking pass. But the trail is right over there. We're gonna come around here and just park in the street here. Cool. We'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. So here we are. My buddy Ray is parking in the parking lot because he's got the parking pass. But we're just going to cross up through here. Hopefully, we got everything all locked up. Let's see here. All right, Woodland Trail, that's it, the Woodland Trail. Again, guys, this is a, a very easy hike. It's about one mile through the whole thing. There's Ray. There he is. There he is. <laughs> did, did you get all that stuff off? What? No. Oh, no? No, it's still pretty much embedded in my Good to see, bro. flesh. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, it is what it is. It's just stained. Oh, I can't. Yeah. I, 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 is there some on my face? Yep. Yep. Where? On your chin. Oh, really? <laughs> Didn't come off? No. Damn it. I mean, it's it's a small, small little amount. Since I'm looking for it, that's probably why I was able yeah. to, you know, see it. No, somebody told me earlier, you get some on your face. <laughs> what did it come from again? Wood, you said? Wood stain. Oh, okay. Wood, wood, wood stain. Wood, we're standing fences today. Okay. Okay. Standing fences, and you know, I get into my work. I really, it just kind of goes everywhere. You know what, man? Let's just put it this way: I change my clothes at work because I won't get into my car with those kind of. No, clothes. sure, so sure. That stuff on my clothes. Especially because he's got a brand new Subi Crosstrek, a brand new one. It's a very, very, Such very, a very, very man. nice I car. That car. Dang. Dang. I drove that thing through a blizzard up near june lake oh my god that thing did so good oh yeah yeah i remember when he uh <laughs> told me about that they had just driven through a nasty blizzard up there and when they're talking about blizzards up there you guys those are the real deal those are the real real deal hang on a second yeah that's nasty bro dude that's nasty that stain yeah four hundred and eighty nine dollars for a five gallon bucket no way oh my <laughs> we went 10 gallons today no way we went through a thousand dollars worth of paint today i didn't know paint some paint was that expensive Holy so crap. the regular brown paint we paint snow summit with yeah two years ago 189 dollars for five gallons today 2.99. oh my gosh yeah that's horrible man crazy 
blew my mind. I mean, soon no it's one's like we're no not, one's. We're, we're now selectively painting things and not just painting everything. Yeah. We're painting the stuff people can see. No, sure, sure, because you can't toss toss away that money. Man. Crazy, huh? I really hope it does start getting cheaper again. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, trying to keep, keep politics as far out of my channel as possible. Dude, they said by 2030 you won't find a house in LA County for under a million dollars. Doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me. Hello. Yeah, 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 dude. And in uh, um, like areas like Compton right now, homes are going for seven, eight, nine hundred thousand, just for an average home. Compton. Yeah, home. yeah. Like a place that, like most not. Of us wouldn't want to live. Exactly. Exactly. When you're used to this, and right. yes, that is culture shock right there. Big time. Big time. I had a friend come up once, and he's like looking out the front door at night. He's like, "So where are the bears and the lion, the bobcats?" You know what I mean? I said, "Dude, they're not here. If you walked outside, if I dropped you off in the middle of town, you had to walk back. You'd be fine." Yep. You took me to where you live. Drop me off and said, get back. I don't know if I'd make it back. Yeah, yeah, totally true. Totally true. Totally true. And funny enough, when I first moved up here, I was so worried about just walking down the street because of bears and stuff like that. But I, I only saw my first bear less than a year ago. It was on my property. but And I'm out all the time. Maybe not hiking in the woods, but driving this whole town so yesterday i go to the post office bro yeah i get my california state refund check oh good good for you because i'm like i like to see the check at least for a few minutes you yeah know? yeah totally so i get <laughs> I go over to the bank pull in i tear the chuck off the stub i set the stub and the envelope on my seat dude i came out someone took the check stub no way so that's what my panic was yesterday, trying to research online what kind of info is on that stub. Thank God it's only my name and address, the check number, and a little paragraph saying to reduce paper waste. Dude. Can't believe it, dude. You know what? We need to set a precedent up here where even if they're just trying to break into a car, shoot them and end them. <laughs> I like serious, it. serious. Seriously, I don't know why the, why these people think it's okay. Well, yeah, me that was like shady as hell. I think they were thinking the check was still on it or something. Like they stole it out of your brand new car? Yeah. Was your window down? No, dude. I'm I'm bad about locking the doors. Dude. You know my I old car, I never locked the door here, bro. Never. Yeah. Go ahead. Steal my ice scraper. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how it was. And then I have to deal with that. The management lady comes up to the trailer park there. Yeah. And she's all hands me the May rent check back. I'm like, why? She's all, there's a little letter. Apparently they can't accept the checks that I use anymore. For the last three and a half years it's been fine so i had to go get a cashier's check they're the worst bro i paid the april rent on april 1st they didn't cash the check till may 3rd yeah that i, I already paid the may rent that would have screwed up all check, my financing i saw a check go through yeah rent check, and you thought it was that one i was like cool the rent's paid i got Plenty of money. Yeah. Nope. Another thousand bucks out of fucking the account today. That's a nightmare. I dude. spent three hundred dollars in my sleep the other night, bro. <laughs> I woke up. I had two notifications: one from my insurance and one from my SOS satellite box yearly fee. Oh yeah. Sucks when those annual fees come up, huh? <laughs> it's like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> all these bills and I'm not working as many hours. No, dude, totally. Like, damn it. My insurance annual fees just came up too. You and, pay uh, once a year? Um, 
one of them I'm paying twice a year. Um, there, there is the option to pay monthly, but right. I'll save if I pay the, mm -hmm. and it's not that much, but it's, it's, it's probably close to a month's worth of savings. So I just toss it on a credit card and be done with it. Right. But yeah, I've, I've got my like ring doorbell annual fees and this dance. Oh, you gotta pay for that too, huh? Yeah. It's a hundred bucks a year. I mean, it's not bad. I have, I think seven active ring doorbells. My SOS box is 143 a year. Yeah, for as much as you hike, dude, that is so worth it. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Totally. Especially at my age now. Thankfully, you're in great shape, though, dude. I sure hope so, bro. Dude. If you're right after 55, you're bound to have that quick engine light come on. <laughs> well, you know what? You've done a good job. I'm already feeling feeling dead. Are you? Yeah. Well, there's like half of this is uphill and the other half is down. Correct. Correct. You've been over here. Yeah, this will be my third or fourth time on this trail because it's so short. Last picture I saw from over here, there was a rattlesnake. I sent you a picture of a big black looking. Yeah. 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 That was when my friend Curtis and his girlfriend came hiking on this trail. It was a little deeper into the season, but I'm. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm hoping it's still a little bit early because of the nighttime and morning temps. It's cool right now. Yeah. That fake snake you saw, man, that would have. Uh, dude, that thing scared the crap out of me. It looked real. It, the, it, the paint on it was really good. Dude. <laughs> I'm Someone at left it and a I'm snake like... in in one of the hiking trails. Just a fake one to screw, screw with people, and it screwed with, <laughs> with Ray. I am like poking at it with my hiking stick. I'm like, is this thing a lot? Are you dead? And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I flipped it over with my hiking stick. And it's all plastic on the bottom. I'm like, God dang it. Shows the place for the double A batteries. <laughs> Oh yeah. And I just felt a raindrop. It was raining at my house. And I said, it, it's good I can capture these two birds with one stone. I was gonna post this tomorrow, but because of the rain today, I'm gonna have to post it today. And I'm only holding this because it's such a short hike. And it's a really pretty short hike. What do you think? It's about a mile, right? A mile and a half. Oh, it's a mile and a half. 1.5 mile loop. Mile and a half loop, guys. Starts in the parking lot, ends in the parking lot. Oh. I don't think this is a little cool out. Definitely. Definitely. Wow. I didn't hit Mr. Weather Guy. Where did these clouds come from? Dude, no idea. Absolutely no idea. When I stepped outside after lunch and looked up, I was like, we're going to have some lightning for sure. I, it just looked that nasty. But I read all my forecasts, I didn't see anything. But I still sometimes choose to believe what my eyes are projecting rather than what a computer system from hundreds of miles yeah. away is saying. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it looked nasty, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah we're, because we're, you know, staining and rain's going to ruin that crab. Oh shoot. So we're like looking at the sky going, wow, should we continue? How long do you need it to dry? Before? 24 hours. Oh no. Yeah. So if it did rain like a nice good shower, you'd have to redo the whole thing? Probably. Oh no. Or they would just say, well, Mother Nature took its course. We tried. Oh bro. Because I don't see them wanting to spend another thousand bucks to redo it. And what exactly are you guys staining? Fences. The big fences of summit. <laughs> Like, 
Oh. The one's right along the bottom of the chairs. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. So half log, half board. Okay. Woo! <laughs> I'm hot. Dude, I'm freaking so... Well, I'm, believe it or not, I'm winded already. I have that like feeling in my chest like I just went for a 10 mile sprint. <laughs> well, I'm leaving you in front, you set the pace. Well, thanks. And I, I wanted to be in front because uh, it'll help me go a little bit faster, subconsciously not wanting to hold you up. <laughs> <laughs> subconsciously. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm with a... Conscious, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, consciously to hit my subconscious when I'm not thinking about it. But I'll be thinking about it the whole time. I know if I can just have the conviction to continue doing this, it'll get better and better and better for me. Oh, yeah. You came and did this every night? Or walked from Stampfield to the campground on the pedal path? Yeah. Yeah. Especially in my lung capacity, I bet. That's the most important thing for me is to not feel like I'm so dead. Just doing this. I'm supposed to go to Mount Whitney on June 24th, bro. <laughs> So is I'm, that... I'm not feeling the vibe, I won't lie to you. Why not? I've never done it. You've never done Whitney? it's like... Okay, so bro, when I backpack, it's more about a leisurely hike to camp. Yeah. And then relax time. Yeah. This Mount Whitney thing's more of a challenge. Oh. We have to hike to the camp the first night, then wake up like three in the morning Go to the top, come back down, pack up our stuff, and then hike back to the trailhead. That that fast? Yeah, two days. So, because I was I was gonna ask you, compared to San Gorgonio, which one's tougher? But it, it, it seems like Whitney. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow, it's almost 3,500 feet higher than San Gorgonio, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. 99 switchbacks. Where do you start at Mount Whitney? Lone what? Pine. And what elevation is that? Like I'd five, five thousand. Probably about six. Six thousand. Okay. I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna guess six. I've heard, I've heard of Lone Pine. And I've, then up to fourteen plus. One of the fourteeners. And then there's the other thing. What's that? You have to go number two in a thing called a wag bag. A wag bag, huh? It's a waterproof bag with chemicals in it to neutralize things. Oh, so the bears don't don't smell no, it? No, because you're not allowed to poop on the ground up there anymore. Because there's just too many people. How's it going? Good, doing? <laughs> doing well, thank you. I watch lots of these documentaries on um, Everest. And uh, how you doing? Hi, good. Good, good. And uh, I guess there is so much human feces up there and so much trash on Mount Everest. Um, like it's like getting to an extremely dangerous right. situation. So bad, dude. And it's all so human. Horrible. Yeah, man. That's no renewable. That's just, humans are the worst. Totally, totally. So selfish. Let's see, I'm gonna pay two hundred thousand dollars. I'm just gonna leave my shit. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, yeah. Someone else will clean it up. <clears throat> For the two hundred grand, yeah. I'm, I'm rich. I don't have to clean that up. But then it's the rich people who hire big crews to uh, come in and like take fifty to a hundred pounds each down oh, yeah. the mountain the and Sherpas. stuff. Yes. The Sherpas. They hire the Sherpas to do it. Those are the real men of Everest. Oh my gosh, those are monster men. Those are the men. real men, dude. The monster men. Some guy just... Some <laughs> Sherpa just recorded like 81 times I, to the fucking I, top. I heard that. Like, I heard that. What a bad... <laughs> you guys give that guy a medal. What <laughs> would you guys totally. to do it? Totally. I'd like you to, walk the top of Everest 81 times. I'd like to see Mr. Universe even do it once. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, it's a real deal there. Huh, no, bro? sure. Sure. Yeah, it's like, you as know, you hey, said. Go, go to the dead guy with the green suit on and turn left. 
The one with the pink boots. The one with the pink boots. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I've... Yeah, those... Isn't that wild? Those pictures are just implanted in my brain permanently of stuff I watch. The, the, the bodies. Up yeah, there, yeah, right? yeah. How, how, like, those are certain checkpoints that yeah. they're like, yeah. Yeah, go to the dead guy with the green suit. Yep, yep. But, I mean, at least you know that that person probably... You know, died, died doing what they wanted. Exactly. Exactly. Because you're not going to hike Everest if it wasn't like a, a many year or lifelong venture, you know? It's not just like, hey guys, you know what? Uh, we were going to go to Catalina. Let's just go hike Everest this weekend. It's, <laughs> yeah. This is something that takes years and years of oh, yeah. prep and uh, planning. And, and, me and mental Money. planning. Yes. Money. I heard for like the cheapest way, it was like 70 to 80 grand. Average person pays like, a buck thirty to a buck fifty, and for the more comfortable stay, what you said about two hundred, two hundred grand. Yeah. And then even most of the time, these guys don't even make it up. Right. They're lucky if they get one member of their team to the top. Or guys get up to the Hillary step and they're so close, and then something happens and they they, 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 they have to go all, or, or they have to go all the way back down. Yeah. Come back next season. Yeah, Could you imagine? Enough, man. Oh man. So hard no. But the elation to get up on top after all that struggling, man. Oh, I could imagine. Got to be the the greatest natural high and physical, physically high. Yeah. <laughs> ever. Out of four billion people, you were one of the highest people up on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. And there's seven billion people on the planet. Oh, there's seven? Seven billion. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of people. And at, at that very point, like, unless other people are on their airplanes, you are technically the yeah. highest person. Yeah, don't count. You didn't walk up there. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Oh, hi, I'm in my nice pressurized cabin. <laughs> Sorry about you right there. I know you can't breathe right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you're waving at window level. <laughs> well, funny enough, I used to live on the biggest mountain on the planet for almost two years. You did? Yep. Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea? Where the hell is that? On the big island. Oh. So, because... Oh, because of what they considered down to the bottom of the sea floor? Down the bottom of of that mountain, yeah. at, yes, because Mount Everest starts at sixteen thousand feet. That's where the the mountain. It, You're already at elevation. Yeah. The so Hawaii's measured from the sea floor to. The... Yeah, so I think it sticks out between like ten and fourteen thousand, <laughs> something like that. Maybe it's like eleven or twelve thousand. But if you go all the way down to the to the base of the mountain. Like 40,000 feet. Something like that. It's the highest mountain on planet Earth. And then one of the Hawaiian islands that's just about to pop through probably in the next 500 years or so, that's the tallest mountain on the planet. So then Mauna Kea is second. But for the exposed land, that's the highest mountain on planet right, Earth. Right. And I got to live right on it. Sadly, I never went to Volcano National Park and I lived like 30 minutes away. What? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I worked at like one of the biggest five-star hotels down there and just like any free time we'd go down to the five-star resort and just party. Um, yeah, and I was 19 and 20, so I wasn't up to much good when it comes to extracurriculars, you know? So we were focused on just partying and going to the beach and going to the five star five star hotels i took for granted living on the big island for sure hindsight really is 2020 bro right i have friends that live there on the guy i went to high school with i don't know exactly where he lives but he lives there he works for the UT, uh, fedex oh nice he worked for fedex for like 30 years nice man That'd be a great job for me to have. He's 
his property. Be in good has shape. And... Massive fruit trees all over. Oh, different yeah. Kinds of fruit. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. They don't even have windows in their house, bro. It's screens and awnings. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's so it. Uh, never gets below 70s, but. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for like some of the tropical storms that can develop and do develop out there, it'd be nice to have something to shut things down, but. That's what he's got the awnings that drop down over the window if there's a storm. That's awesome. You yeah. can literally see the ocean from his freaking front porch. Yeah, dude, it's. Pretty cool. <laughs> very, very, very if cool. I, if I didn't live in the mountains, bro, I'd be, I'd, I'd be best between zero and a hundred foot elevation and from 5,000 up. Dude, I can see you as a total beach bum, bro. Oh, a I total beach bum. Yeah. We go That's camp, what I came from. We go camping in, in uh, San Clemente in the fall. My hood. Yeah, nice. I get up. I'm, I'm up at 6 a.m., bro. They all sleep till 11. So I'm, I walk down the beach and walk about two miles it, on the it's beach. It's because they sleep. take it for granted because they they spend a lot more time there. You know, just and like I want, I want to absorb that stuff while I'm there. Yeah. So I'm up at 6 a.m. I go down the beach, take up you know no shoes on, and just walk for the beach. Hey that's man, that's mission. very First therapeutic, the man. Extremely therapeutic. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Very therapeutic. I took all that for granted. Like I I grew up on the water. We had a dock with three boats, and and we would dive off our dock and dive off our boats and stuff and. And I never went to the beach much, man. Like I, but now that I live up here, even in Hawaii, I didn't spend a lot of time at the beach and I lived like right near the beach. Right. But now that I'm away from it, it's like I'm yearning for the beach. Just like down there, I, 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 I was like, gosh, I wish I could be in the mountains to go for a hike or for something. And now that I've been here nine years, it's like I just drive by these beautiful, <laughs> charming areas constantly and just don't do anything about it. Right. But you are someone who helps me get out and do this. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is great. This is absolutely great. Yes. Motivate. You do. Because I make it a point to do this, dude, you know? And you're always doing it. I'm always and doing it. And you work it. full time. <laughs> I make it a point, you know? You're living. You're enjoying life. It's Not... a short ride, bro. It, it's so short, man so short as a little kid you think it's it's never gonna end and I, I consider myself on the moderate side of outdoor activities you know, wow people climbing Mount Baldy in the winter and shit and oh yeah yeah that's yeah uh, San Gregorio in the winter that's that's out of control winter backpacking yeah you know what though I bet most of those people have a nice nest egg of cash or like something because to take time off. Well, I guess the San Gorgonio hike. Take the time and uh, buy it, the equipment. Yes, buy the equipment. And, uh, you know, that stuff has to be replaced every so often. Yeah. I mean, these, these PCT hikers, every time I like see them, I'm like, not passing judgment, but I'm, I'm, I'm like, wow, they're probably like some like super successful tech tech person who can right. who can put six months of cash away and oh, not yeah. have to work for six months and, and do the whole hike you know yeah not have to work not work for four months yeah yeah and just cruise imagine how, how if everyone What's could even, could live like that man you're crazy bros they're living on 25 pounds on their back yeah yeah i don't know how yeah my pack at the minimum 45 bro yeah. At least 45. My outward bound pack was like 80 pounds, yes. dude. Oh, yes. And, and I had to have someone help me lift mine onto a picnic table <laughs> to put it on the first day, bro. Yeah, dude. I was in tears because I knew that I was going to have to carry all this and there was nothing I could do about it. And, and I was smaller than I even am now and not even fat. So, yeah, I, I probably weighed like a, like a buck 15, a, a, a buck 20 when I was 13. And I had to carry a pack that weighed more than half my body weight. Yeah. And hike 10 to 12 miles every single every day. day. Brutal, man. Dude, that was a wonderful time. Bro. You know what? <laughs> Dude, my, my one of my best memories of my entire yeah. life, bro. Yeah. During. Not so much. 
But in hindsight, that place and um, Aspen Wilderness Academy and Aspen Ranch, my next rehabs after that, like uh, I hated being there, but looking back and I'm like, wow, this was an amazing time. Got to do all the national parks in Utah, got to build fences, got to build staircases and build yurts and um, yeah, it was just... Nick, is that a ghost front in front of a thunder shower? So it, it's, it, it, it kind of feels like if you look right up here, a lightning bolt could present it, itself. It feels like that. that's the gust. And front. it's raining right there. Yeah. Hurry up, Nick! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> we are almost done with this hike yeah, already. almost done. I've never gone through it so fast. Yeah, I felt another drop. <laughs> At least we're not the tallest thing sticking out right now. You know, like the day we went skiing and it, we got. Oh man! Oh man! Yeah, dude. Up. Yeah. Like, you, oh shit! You of all people were not prepared for it. I could not I believe was it. So not prepared. I could not believe it. I'm like, man. Cloth gloves and a windbreaker. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Yeah, guys, it looks nasty, right? It's, it's, it feels, it feels <clears throat> like it. Yeah, feels like thunderstorms. I hope that poor lady with the cane makes it out okay. I know, right? Shit. I wonder what, uh, I mean, I'm... You need to get Mr. Stinkbug. Where? Mr. Stinkbug. Hopefully he doesn't lift Make his butt up. Put him on the internet. Nick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do not lift your butt up, buddy. Hi, Mr. Stinkbug. Do not lift your butt up. Hi, bud. <laughs> How you doing? You're famous now. <laughs> so at my Utah rehab, where I spent oh, one year out there, that's where I was introduced to stink bugs. Yeah. And they'd be in inside the cabin and stuff too, and then they would lift up their butts and then fire away. And, there you go, fire oh, away. It's horrible. It was horrible. Those little guys can really make a stink. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't even know he's about to be on the internet right now. He has no idea. No clue. And he didn't even sign any forms or nothing. <laughs> no release form. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is a neat area. And you guys, again, this is the perfect hike if just to get started on hikes up here. It's pretty darn easy. There is a little bit of an up slope it's 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 not it doesn't last long and then it's down the rest of the way it's a mile and a half total from start to finish um there's inter there's interpretive signs too and i think sometimes at the beginning of the trail they have a box that has a guide to tell you which numbered sign okay like oh this, yeah like this one right here so yeah there's like 15 of these signs. things so i'm Sometimes they have little pamphlets in the box at the beginning. So that's 13. And then, yeah, in your pamphlet, you'll, it tells you'll you go to 13. About each one. Yeah. You know, I didn't even know that. You didn't even know that? I just thought that was like a certain amount of paces along the path. Uh -huh, no, nope. <laughs> I've actually gotten the little pamphlet and did the whole thing. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to have to do that. Yeah, it gives you like, tells you about the trees and stuff. The only one I remember is like 15 and it's like urban lake view area. Urban lake view area. So I'm assuming there's an urban lake view from that area. Yeah, we're kind of an urban forest thing. The urban forest interface. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> Here's another Probably stink bug. Because I did a forestry, one forestry class. Oh, two! Look, two internet stars. Do not fire. Woo! How's it, buddy? <laughs> you guys, in about a month and a half, those, it's going to be snakes where we're going to be doing that. Especially midday. Oh yeah, yeah. Usually, guys, Ray likes to take me on hikes. Uh, you know probably later than he likes to go, but earlier than I like to go, and we avoid the snakes. Usually we would meet at like 8.30 or 9, right? Yeah. Yeah. But if we meet at 6.30 or 7, Woo. there will be no snakes. Woo, no snakes. No snakies. And in 
uh, we've recorded on record up here all 12 months of the season for freezing temperatures. So if you do get up early enough, you might be lucky to avoid them. Wow. The trees are so beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. Beautiful color. What what type of trees are these? Pine. Well, I, I mean, that was a Jeffrey and a juniper. Jeffrey and juniper. Yeah. I like the Jeffrey's bark. Definitely raining over the lake. Yeah, it's definitely raining. You can feel it in the air. Yep, totally, and you can smell it too. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, look down there. Look at the other end of the lake. It's kind of dumping. And I can feel it too. You can see it on the water. Yep. There's gonna be a lightning bolt. I'm telling Don't you. Say, but no. <laughs> Let's get in our cars first. <laughs> yeah. I knew a father and his son, dude. They were on top of San Gregorio, and a freaking lightning bolt hit a hundred feet away. No way. And the ground charge knocked them both to their to the ground. Dude, dude, that's scary. Yeah, that's that's not... scary. Yeah, that's uh. I, you know, I, I, I enjoy it until it's too close, just like them, you know? That weather back east, man, the tornadoes and the lightning. Dude, some of the videos I just watched. Oh my God, dude. One of these guys and his friends were stuck in their car and one of them screaming like, God, please make it stop, God, please. And I felt so bad for them. Dude, it looks so scary. Yeah. So scary. I was watching one of those storm chasers and they came across the family and the tornado flipped their car over and it was just torrential rain wind and they're all upside down in the car brutal and the storm chaser got out and said we're here we'll stay with you until help comes <laughs> yeah dude and that's what i wanted to do i wanted to go to texas tech go to college there do storm chasing out there be a meteorologist and i could see you being a meteorologist me too me too well that's it buddy we made it without getting soaked. So yeah, guys, can't believe we freaking made it. That was a nice quick hike, bud. That nice, was a nice quick hike. Good exercise. Yeah. Now I'll have dinner and I'll be golden. And then you're you're out of here, you said Sunday? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Yeah, okay. my ladies, we're gonna go to the LA County Fair. That's cool, man. And I was gonna go to my dad's on Monday, but now I have to work Monday. Really? Yeah. Even with all the time that you worked here, they won't. Well, I've been off Saturday Saturday. And you said they hired Tuesdays. more people and there's less hours, so yeah. you gotta take, take. Yeah, I gotta take what I can get. And I'm bleeding money right now. So. I love you, brother. I love you, brother. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me just, uh, yeah. Again, guys, one of my best friends in the whole wide world. So I trust him completely. Uh, I can be free on these hikes. And uh, whatever he tells me to do, I do it. If he says, stop right there or jump over here like uh he's got my there's a storm coming in yeah it? yes a nice thunderstorm oh yeah you can totally feel it. totally i mean look at the the, the the look the stuff on the lake has reached here now i know oh yeah yeah you know what by the time i get to my car it'll be raining pretty good oh all day oh my god Nick. all right brother i, thank, love, you, I love you too dude thank you have thank you weekend. you have a great weekend too you next week. be safe tomorrow on your drive Sir. And to uh, have fun at the LA Fair. Hell yeah. Love you, brother. Love you too, Ray. Thanks, man. Wow, that guy is so cool. He is so cool. But yeah, guys. I can't believe this. I'm ready, bro. I'm already done with the hike and at my car. Yeah, guys, now we're back on North Shore. I'm gonna let this car, oh, he's not gonna pass. So we're just gonna walk across here. Yeah, look at, look at these clouds, man. The forecast dropped the ball day. There's gonna be lightning right there. I'm telling you, there's going to be lightning right there. You know what? 
we don't get this sight that often. So until the battery dies, we're just gonna go and get this nice little view of the storm rolling in. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Remember, there was no nothing about lightning or thunder. Nothing on any forecast that I looked at. So I'm hoping that my uh, experience and my senses will predict properly. So glad I wore my jacket because I wasn't going to wear anything. Of course I was going to wear clothes, but I wasn't going to wear any like warm clothes. telling you right there it's either gonna be right there or right there Call you in just a second, see where you guys are at. What's up, bro? Him? Hey. Um, just we're we're done with this hike, but I walked across the street because these clouds are looking pretty freaky, man. Like, like awesome looking, bro. Yeah, yeah, but there was nothing in the forecast, and especially no lightning or thunder, but this feels like thunderstorms, dude, and so I'm trying to catch, catch a lightning bolt just so I can, you know, know my senses still work properly. <laughs> but yeah, so where are you guys at? I'll be there in, in five minutes. So, 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 uh, like, uh, where, where the gas company is, um, like behind where like the back door for the laundromat is and stuff like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got it, brother. I'll be there in five or six minutes. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Mike, thank you. And then uh, next time, uh, something a little bit extra for you too as well. So, so thank you. All right, brother. All right, bye. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so pretty. Again, I don't want to miss any lightning bolts. Here's another path. This is the pedal path. And what's this? Is this my Subiru? I think it is my Subiru. Hi, beautiful Subiru. All right. Well, guys, see, that was a pretty easy hike, right? That mile and a half took us no time. No time at all. All right. Well, once again, 
thanks for cruising. I love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, we'll chat with you hopefully in a few days. Peace out. I, again, I think it is the 10th. 10th of May. I'm probably going to post this tomorrow on the 11th. I love you guys. Hey you guys, so I lied. I thought we were just at the end, but this is a little encore. We're starting to get a little drizzle. This is kind of not far from where we just were parked, but this is a nice view of Snow Summit and this storm. Thought I would give you guys a little view of it. Give you a better perspective. Right there is where I'm expecting some lightning. Right there. I mean, that looks nasty. But if you can see the windshield, we got some rain. Not too much, but we got a little bit of rain. Wow. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this is this is what I absolutely like. All right, guys. So this is gonna be it. But my gosh, this looks like Midwest type clouds, guys. I love you guys. This time, I'm really letting you guys go. Peace.